Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of attribution theory. We will help you understand the difference between stable and unstable factors, the difference between internal and external factors, and what causes learned helplessness. Let's get started. Attribution is the perceived reasons to explain success or failure. For example, the athlete played bad because the weather was cold and wet. Viner's model of sport attribution focuses on four attributions. Ability, effort, task difficulty, and luck. These attributions are arranged into two dimensions. Locus of causality, which looks at performance outcomes caused by internal and external factors. And stability, which looks at performance outcomes caused by stable and unstable factors. Using attribution theory, successful athletes tend to attribute success to stable and internal factors, such as their fitness. And they attribute failure to external factors, such as strong winds. Whereas, less successful athletes attribute success to unstable and external factors, such as a favourable wind, and failure to internal factors, such as a lack of fitness. The self-serving bias develops this further. Because failure is attributed to avoid internal and stable factors, factors are attributed to protect self-esteem, rather than reflect the reality of the situation. Unsuccessful athletes do not always attribute failure to external factors, which impacts on their self-esteem and can ultimately reduce motivation. Repeated failure can lead to learned helplessness. This looks at feelings that are experienced by an individual when they believe that failure is inevitable because of past experiences. Commonly in sport, athletes attempt to avoid this. For example, passing to a player quickly after they have just made a mistake. In order to avoid learned helplessness, an attribution retraining process must happen. A change from the attribution, such as lack of ability, must change for the attribution poor weather. A change from the negative emotion of shame must change to a positive or neutral emotion like disappointment. And a change from the behaviours of helplessness and avoidance of competition must change to the behaviours of persistence and seeking out competitions. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.